Can you hear me now? I forgot to turn my microphone on. That's great, isn't it? <laughs> I'll repeat it again. It's day 35 of a year of craft. And this uh, show is not sponsored by anyone. But I am using um, product from craft creating bleh, from crafted companion and um hunky dory adorable adorable card i'm using today i'm also using a piece of card from um a 12 by 12 pack that i bought from the work it's from their make and create range and it's called delicate vintage and just using one piece of 12 by 12. Hello, Amanda. Hello. So, yeah, it's going to be a great card today. I, first of all, let's go and wait for some people to come in first. Because there's only three of you. Morning, Fred. Hello, Dee. Good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Amanda. Okay, let me show you. If you remember, I made that uh, lovely little um, table fold card. I'm going to call it a table fold card um, yesterday. And after the show, I, I completed it. So I, I did this. I put five little gem down at four. Oh, I'm missing a gem. Oh, well, I'll have to put another gem on. Hang on. I put five little gem. I did put five little gem. One gone missing. Down on the door. To down the denter of the door. And you can do uh, some gems on the top panel. I made a little flower and put them dark pink gems in the middle of it. And then the inside, I put some gems just like the top, the top here, just like the top there. I put some gems on the inside, and it should stand like this, looking at the craft cam, stand like that, so I finished it, I took a picture, the picture of, of the video from yesterday, that is now um, on my um, YouTube, so you can re-watch it if you wish, um, and I, yeah, this is the picture that I viewed um, in my social media, um, and all my social media that as well so i finally finished it here today a very pretty card for mother mother day you can have it at a, a nice little uh christmas card as well but can you imagine that at the at the table for for baby gina to be in i don't really can so that's why i called it a table fold card because yeah because that what you remind me of a table so, how is everyone today? Everyone doing okay? Good, good, good. Okay, let me put this away. Put that away. Popped out. Okay, so. I'm going to get my... Uh, my trimmer out. I'm not liking my trimmer at the moment because it's not cutting properly. You know, I think the blade is, is blunt. But today you're going to need a 12 by 12 piece of card dock. I've got the double dyed pattern. It's good if you did to have a double dyed pattern. You can use uh, A4 card if you wish and cut it into 8 by 8 because that's what we're going to be doing with this one. You also need 
a colour game. Now, I've picked grey and purple today. Um, you need eight grey that are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. It's nice. Oh, uh, Jadine, that Amanda, it's nice and sunny here in Hastings. It's been lovely all day, actually. Bit windy because we're up on the hill. Anyway, you need eight of these. It's one and three quarters by one and three quarters square. Okay, eight of those. You need thick purple. I've picked. Don't have to have purple, but you need thick purple. Same size, one and three quarters by one and three quarters. You also need. Need to double check this. Yeah, uh, a square which is two and a quarter. No, sorry, two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And a gentleman, which I've done in purple. Uh, and I've done just done hello. Okay, so that's what I've done today. You um, you may also want to um, make things look pretty. I'll show you the card that I made earlier on. I have put this card onto a 4 by dick uh, card blank. So it can stand up if, if, if you wish. Okay, it can stand up if you wish. And it can open like this. So it's a twist and turn card. So it's a bit like that. So that but um, I made this one yesterday. It's a bit messy because I dropped the ink pad on it last night. But today I'm doing it a little bit different. Um, this bit here will be different. And I'm not going to damp the dyed one because I think it's a bit too much. Uh, so I'm just going to damp the, the butterfly and the little flower just here today. Not the one I'd, um, I'd change changed my mind after but it's very easy to close up you grab two corners like that grab the third corner and then you pop the fourth corner around like that and it's so easy so easy to open and this is called a twist and turn card okay so let's get making it you will need your 12 by by 12 p and you need to cut it into eight inch square okay so let's get that eight inches i can i keep my big grab because you never know oh i never know i might go oh i want that polka dot where's that gone my blade not cutting properly Okay, so you got your eight inch by eight inch there. Let's get your um, your gore board and your bone folder. And you want to gore it, okay, at two inches, four inches, and six inches. Easy PD. Turn it round and you want to do the dang. Two inches, four inches, six inches. Okay. Now I haven't pressed very hard down, but it is good. Okay. Now the next bit you need to do is if you line up your gore line, your first gore line there, with your last gore line down here, to line it up. Okay. And what you want to do is you want to go, go from the middle square here that you've got. Let me show you. Okay, you've got a you've got a um, panel like this. Okay, you want to line up with your black line from here to here, and you just want to gore this this bit here, and the same with these squares as well. Okay. Just those, okay? Just these four bits here, all right? So we'll do that. We'll line up. And we'll just do that from there to there. You get what I mean? Good, good, good. 
80 Okay, so I'm lining them up on my gore board and I'm just going to put a line EDPD Some people wait time and draw and then fold and oh, I don't want to wait that time I'll just do it with my gore board that way I can do my line if you know what I mean there you go so basically, you have got a grid like that, okay? It's four by four grid of squared with this bit in the middle. Oh, hello, Michelle, Nick. Hello, darling. Thank you for joining. Okay, so we're done with the gore board there, okay? So the next bit you want to do is you need to fold like this okay like that almost as if it did M or a W okay on both both sides okay we'll do both sides so you need to uh, mountain fold valley fold and then mountain fold okay the next bit you need to do is you need to fold this bit up okay fold this bit up fold this bit up and fold that bit up so all four sides there is folded okay so it looks like this okay the next bit you need to do grab this square Okay, bring it round, grab this bit, bring it round, grab this third bit, bring it round, and then it should all fall into place, just like that, okay? And then you need to gore it on the bottom, because that will show the, um, the, the card of where to go then. Okay, so that is all good. Shall I show you again? So it's out like this, okay? You need to grab this corner here, bring it round, grab this corner here. In my charge room, probably, yeah. Bring it round, and same with the third, and the fourth should go in, okay? E, D, P, D, Lemon, Greedy. Okay, so, oh, that's good news. Might have to day another night. Oh, do no, he better, the Majel. That's really good news. I have been, I have been um, watching everyone. And that sounded weird, didn't it? Not in a weird way, but you know what I mean. I have been watching people. I, I stay quiet and in the background when it comes to private things. But I do, I do, um, I do read everyone's comments on Crafted TV. Okay, so I. Stamped a butterfly on mine on four of my squares. Okay, so you put your four purple squares that I've done here. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, and I I I've done it. I'm doing it so the butterflies are fading outward. Easy peasy. This card is called the Twist and Turn card. It's very easy to make, Amanda. Very easy to make. And it's so lovely. You can have it as it is, like, like this. You can put it on a card, like 
like I've done here with the one that I made there today. This one, just a rough one, that uh, it got ink on. I've dropped the ink ink pad on it, and it closed it up so easily and nicely, like that. So you, with this one, you can have it either standing. It is a bit front heavy, so I might have to put something in it to to help. But um, it's not a good idea. Well, it might not be a good idea to have it on a card blank. I've just done it just because. <laughs> Just because, just, just so I can show you how, how it needs to stand. So it needs to stand like that. Like that. It, it, my camera here. It, um, I, is that better? So, yes, the twist and turn card. Hello, Matronita. Welcome again. Nice to see you. Been a while. I'm not getting on with it. I keep getting glue bogey. It's not behaving. Oh, the loads more next month. Right, so there we go. There's four. Of them done. You know what? I might use actual glue. I did with the other one. Don't know why I'm not with this one. Right now, with the two, I've got two more purple ones left because you need dick, dick purple ones or whichever color you choose. Okay. Now these dick are just for the four corners and then the four corners here. Can you see? There's four triangles here. Do I need to chop them in half? which I shall do. And because my trimmer is not playing with me properly, I'm going to embed halfway through the card. Not playing ball. I don't know where Nona is today. I didn't see her. Mind you, I didn't see quite a few of you on the other channel. Um, I do uh, Michelle knit for you, the lovely, gorgeous Michelle. Right, with these ones, I want to dance these ones, but in a certain way. So, I shall show you how I'm going to damp them. So, two of them are going to be one way. Let me put that there. So, two of them are going to be this way. It's about the middle, roughly, give or take. Bump. There we go. The, the ink is so gorgeous. I'm using, I'm using the Harmony Quick Dry. They are, I love them. Oh, I tell you what, guy. Looking at that, um, that new uh, pro, um, let me move that magnet a bit. Gemini Pro, blimey, it's a corker, isn't it? Corker of a. Oh, I missed a bit. Getting me. It's a corker of a machine, isn't it? So there's one going to go there. I'm gonna go there now. Let's um, let white. It's demi wet. This one. Let me get a wet one. Oh. So, and the other two, I put in the corner like I did before, but it's gonna be the other way. In the other corner. The opposite corner. Even. Hello, Danny. Okay. This one. 
Oh, I didn't mean to remove that. Let's move that down a bit. Does so only mean that I know the name of the birthday guy or that Dara used? I loved it. Oh, I don't know. Um, have a have another look over the um, the video. Oh, what was it? Have a look over the video again, uh, Danny. Um, I know the guy you mean. I vaguely remember it. Well, I do remember it, but I can't remember the name of it. Okay, so that's done. I think damping is my new go-to thing for crafting at the moment. I never used to be comfortable with it till I got the the um, quick dry. I tell you. Right, I'm gonna use glue. Just scratch it on. Just scratch it on. I'm not going to put big blobs. Oh, yeah. Do it on pop card. Yeah, that was the card of the week. Wasn't it? Yeah. Some of the cards, uh, like this card, um, I'm, I made when I was a little kid. And um, I was shocked to do it being made. Because when I was a little kid, I used to make things up um, when I was crafting. And I made one of these. Um, not watching any video or anything, because when I was a kid, we didn't have YouTube. Um, I mean, we 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 only just had the internet really when I was a kid, um, and it was very dimple the internet back then. Very dimple, nothing like now. So I don't know. Uh, I have seen some people making these in different videos, but uh, they they. I, I used to make as a child. Used to love making this card. Make them at my goal. Okay, so there we go. We'll put down the grey one now. So these little grey ones, one and a, one and three quarters by one and three quarters, they will be going. Um, in the bit here, they won't be damped. Uh, I didn't like them damped in the last one, so I changed changed my mind, and I thought just the butterfly and the purple flower. I'm excited. I've got another. Um, a uh, hospital appointment for the bed lid. Hopefully, well, that will be in May. I got the letter today. I was about to have a phone call with him, um, but uh, they cancelled it. And I've now got um, a, an actual appointment to go and see them, which is fabulous, fantastic. Dick. Yeah, you could do D. Yeah, it, it, every card I make can be adapted to whatever you want on them. I mean, the outside could have. I've got some butterflies somewhere. Let me, I'll, go, I'll find it in a minute. But the outside, instead of these, I could put four butterfly, actual butterfly thing 
rather than damped, I could put them 3D on there, which is great. Oh, I had uh, another look at that, uh, those um, gutter cards yesterday. And when I looked in the packet, they they gave me the uh, foam pad. So those, some of those flowers and the butterfly could be on foam pad. But, uh, I just, you know, I, I looked at it and I thought, there's enough dimension on it. Excuse me, sorry for living. There's enough dimension on it um, from when you make it, though. No, I just put put them down with uh, double dyed did Crafty Companion double dyed did Tape pen. There we go. One quite in the middle. There we go. This card, I do love this card. I just grab the glue on, I don't put load on. Give me enough wiggle room. It dry quite quick this as well. When when you put a tiny bit on at a time. Yeah, I agree, dear. I agree. Hello, darling. Thank you for joining. It's very quiet today. Only eight of you on. Okay, let's um, get rid of that. I want to get rid of that. Keep my mat tidy. Okay. So the next bit I'm going to do, I'm going to put this grey bit on. Pop that in there. So I have left uh, a bit of a border between all of them, as you can see. Um, it makes sense because you need all those fold to fold properly. So if you had it all the way up to the fold, it wouldn't fold properly. So I left a border uh, around each piece. I'm going to just put some glue on to this bit. Oh. Just dot, dot the glue. I would use the uh, dotty, but this, this is quite thin card dock. Um, it is great stuff. It's from uh, it uh, adorable gorable from Hunky Dory. It's worth getting, guys. Seriously, Hunky Dory, adorable gorable. There is adorable gorable on the Crafty Companion website. Okay, so there's the hello. Hello, hello. Get that glue away. There we go. So there we go. So that's the back. That's the back. And here's the front. And we'll fold it up. It's a very easy, quick card. Easy peasy, lamb and greedy. And there it is. Closed up. Very nice. So you open it. Using the two opposite corners. Hello, hello. And then you fold it up. 
like that. Eighty PD. Night Indy card. Good. I'm glad you. I'm glad you like it. Glad you like it. Nice little card. I mean, you don't have to have hello. You could have congratulations. You could have you passed your driving test. Anything. You could write in it. Anything, really. So, there you go. Nice. Fabulous. And it's nice to play with as well. I will. Oh, good. Oh, good me. I will email you them. No worries. That, that KD. You could put a Bailey band on it. Um, it's completely up to you. You could put it in like this. You could make your own envelope with it. You could put it in a box. An envelope, an envelope, an envelope, an envelope, you could put it in one of those. Um, thank you, Fred. Um, yeah, you could uh, do what I've done here. I mean, you do have to open it up quite a bit to, to let it down properly. Um, and it does fit into the... I did test it. It does fit into the uh, Dick by Four envelope that ca that came with the card because it's the card from the Year of Craft box that I've used. So yeah, it fit in there nicely. No problem. Um, yeah, you could put you could put a little gift card in there. Um, you, uh, uh, what I would do. I used to have a gift card template, but I've moved everything around. What I would do is I would make you your gift card template, do time two, because the gift card in a, a rectangle, isn't it? It's it, that shape. So do time two, and then do, and then work out how big the square, the square have to be, because you'd have to do, um, rework your your measurement for it um it does look like it would fit in there though or you could do you could you could do do um you could make this do a belly band and then flip the thing in the belly band of the boat if you want to do it eight by eight this this is a nice dive a really nice dive to do um you could put pictured in there um you know if it were a valentine perfect for a valentine put picture heart picture like dara did with her puddle heart picture in there do they do mini puddle die that would be quite cool mini puddle die um put that in there Easy PD, lemon squeezy. Nice little card, that. I love making these. They're so fun to play with as well. Oh, dear me. Got the sniffles. So, yeah. Um, I wanted to show you all day. Um, I've washed my, my pad, as you can see. This is when... This is the... Uh, these are the pad that I use with my um, quick dry um, and um, they're all dry now so I can use them again that one looked like it burned um, but um, yeah this is how they turn out so they do dye your, they are a dye so they do dye your pad but look I'm, I'm wiping my hand on them a clean finger on them and they don't they don't transfer anything, so that is clean. That is completely clean. Um, and I can reuse them. Easy peasy. 
Yeah, they, they, I'm, I love the, love the, um, the die. Really nice to you. Very nice to you. Have a lot of fun using those at the moment. So, yeah. So, baby announcement card, yeah. Um, Christmas, yeah. Definitely Christmas. Um, you can, you, oh, that's what I wanted to do with mine today, but I forgot. I wanted to corner around them. You can corner around these bit here if you wanted, but it would, this bit would look a bit funny, I think. But, um, yeah. I love this card. It is a fun card, very fun. Diamond Press. Oh, I watched their, their, um, where did that come from? I watched their, um, YouTube the other day, Dee, for Diamond Press. I loved it. It was brilliant. Yeah, everyone, have a look at Diamond Press. Uh, Diamond Press YouTube channel. They are a, a, a channel like, um, Crafted Companion, they do tell their own stuff, um, but they've got some fabulous dyes. Oh my god, their dyes are fantastic. They were doing, they were doing um, a special thing the other day where um, they were showing you the dyes and then doing a giveaway, which I thought was brilliant. So, yeah. You store your pad under the ink. Yeah, you can do. I've got mine in the order of of um oh yeah I used yeah I used uh I cleaned this one and used it on a different colour because I couldn't find this one. But they're in the colours of I've got them hit there. Got them there. Uh in the in order of colour sort of thing. So they're in order of colour from uh Top to bottom, top to bottom, top to bottom. So, yeah. Um, I don't know if you lot, I just wanted to argue you lot something. Um, this one, Baby Blue, it's very smoky. Have you lot, ever, have you lot actually seen it? It's very smoky. It's a smoky colour. Let me get done. I've got some scrap card here. So I'll show you. Let me get them. Let me get the ink up. So it's like a very smoky colour. It's not really baby blue in my eye. It, it's sort of like a grey blue. Do you see? It's very much. And there's not much ink on this pad either, I don't think. Don't. Yeah, it's very, it's very smoky. Have you lot found that? Oh, it is. It's supposed to be like that, is it, D? It, it confused, confused me, that's all. <laughs> There we go. But uh, I do like, I love the, I do love them. And um, they, the, these, these things will, um, thank you, D. These things will um, be my, my thing, I think. <laughs> I love them. You the other guy. On the baby, oh yeah, the balloon baby card. I remember that, Amanda. Yeah, it, it's very smoky, like a, a smoky grey, like you'd be coming from a in a painting of a of a steam train, like the smoke coming up. That's what it reminded me of. So yeah, so that that the card. Uh, tomorrow is um it. Um, what tomorrow? Oh, hello, Laura. Um, 
in a crawford wheel tomorrow. So, oh hello Paradise Pride Princess. I've been watching some of your videos. They are absolutely wicked, girl. I love them. My camera is moving itself. I just watched it move itself. Oh dear. There we go, that'll do. Um, yeah, guys, go over to Paradise by Princess. She's got fantastic video. Um, and I'm quite jealous of her dyes as well. I'm very jealous of her dyes. She got some lovely dyes. Um, yeah, craft along with Will tomorrow. So tomorrow, yes, that's it. We're making two cards, aren't we? So we're going to make the triple, triple uh, panel card and the glider card tomorrow. So tomorrow, what you need is you need um, an A4 pizza card. You need your colour scheme, so like this one, it's pink and white with some um, pattern paper from um, from the Eurocraft. I might make remake this one because this one, someone's asked me to make another one, so I might re remake this one tomorrow. And um, yeah, your bit, your sparkle, your damp, you know, Happy Mother Day damp. Um, so A4 bit of card. Um, the glider card you need a four by six, four inch by six uh, inches, which is which is it's just over um, an eight dick size, just over an eight dick size um, card. Um, mm -mm, it's not even an A. A2 card. It's a four by six, four inches by six inches, and you need you need one piece of pattern paper, uh, four four by six, okay. And you need this piece here. I've forgotten what this piece is. The actual slider bit is three inches by by. Blimey. Five and a quarter. Three inches by five and a quarter piece of card and something for your front. Okay. Very easy to make. It's not, it, oh, stamped as well for the inside of your slider card, as you can do. With this slider card, I've made it a two in one. So you can either have it laying down or standing up. Easy PD and it fits into a dip by four envelope nicely. Um, so yeah, and this one as well. This will this one when it folded up like this, it will fit into a dip dip by dip envelope easily because it uh, it for about four and a half. By five and a half so you could either make an envelope for it or put it in a dick by dick envelope up to you um, but yeah they're, they're both very nice card to make they were they were joint for last Friday when you chose they would do well can you show today card please today card yeah no problem it is the twist and turn card um, PBP, I'll call you. <laughs> um, it's a twist and turn card. So it's a lovely card, very easy to make. It's 8x8. Eight eight. You score at 2, 4 and 6 on both sides. 2, 4 and 6. You then need 8 squares for this bit here, of which they have a colour. And then you need 6 squares that are the same colour, 4 for the corners, and then 2 cut in half for these bit here. This bit here, I can't even remember my amendment. This bit here, oh, that bit, two and three quarter by two and three quarter, this, this one here. Okay, so all these measurements I've given you are measurements for this die, die, die card, okay? Yeah, PBP, that kid. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's not difficult at all. And when you close it, you grab one corner, grab the other corner, 
grab this corner and then the fourth corner just closes on its own. It's very easy to make, not hard at all. Um, so let me, I'll show you, I'll show you again. Um, how big is that? No. Let me grab a piece of Pick the 12 by 12, just with anyone. Oh, that's pretty. I might need that one. It's purple one side, yellow, purple, grey on the other. Lovely. This pack, it's uh, make and create from the work. Three pound, a uh, delicate vintage one. Um, it would, uh, I'm not sure if they've got it in stock anymore. It was a couple of years ago I bought it, just before. I um, stopped working for, for them before I became unwell. But I'll show you again very quickly. I think I've got time. What is the time? Oh, I've got 12 minutes. I'll show you very quickly. It's so easy to do. So cut your 8 by 8 I'm going to have the flowers at the main bit. So the flowers will be facing upwards. Whichever bit you is your favourite, face it upward. Okay, grab your scoreboard. This scoreboard is a hunky dory, adorable, adorable gorble. It is still on their website. Score it at two, four, and six inches. Turn your paper. Score it at two, four and six inches, and then from this, this bit here, all the way down to this bit here, okay, you want to line it up, okay, but you're only scoring this centre square, all the way round, just the centre square. You can do it with a pencil if you wish, but I find it just easier just to do gore lines. You can do the gore lines, E to P, D. The lighting's a lot better today. No, I haven't got my main light on. Must be the time of year. So, you've done your goring. Okay, so you want to do a mountain fold a valley fold and a mountain fold, so it looks like an M or a W, okay? And then turn it round and do the same again. Mountain, valley, mountain, easy peasy, okay? Then those, those bit here, this bit here, just fold that down, just up to the corner of that box bit, all four of them, okay? Right. That's it. Easy peasy. All done. So, all you need to do is grab that corner. Grab this two corner. Push it. Grab this third corner. Push it. Okay, like that. And the fourth corner. And it all goes into play. Once you've done the third, really. The fourth corner popped into play. Then, gore it all. Good and proper underneath. Good and proper. Okay. Because then, when you open it, and then you close it, open it, close it, it does it all itself. It's so easy. And then, obviously, you you put your, your little squares on just to make it look pretty. And that's it. Thank you all for visiting. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank thee. Um, you will try. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you. Thank you, PBP. So, yeah, that's it. Easy, easy peasy. Look, 
all you have to do, you can even grade the uh, grade the middle bit. So, yeah, that's the, that's the end of the show today. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be like, I'll be like Dara. <laughs> yeah, get very quick. It's it, it, that it. Once you do one cut, because what I'm doing, what I was doing, it took me 25 minutes to make to show you how to make this and glue it together. Um, but on my own, I could make two of these easily in in half an hour. Um, because that's how I do it. I do it quick. But because I'm showing you, I think. Oh, I need to go a bit lower. So I go lower, just so you can see every single bit. And then when you look back on the video, you can see every single bit. That that same speed. Um, so yeah, that's why I that's why I do that. No problem. Thank you for joining me. Um. <laughs> yeah, do do it. Um, and I tell you, uh, I do you ever do live Paradise by Printer? Do you ever do live video? Because live video, when I do live video, it it make it feel good, you know. And you you can get you can get a lot done. You like you like Jan Page. What is Jan Page? What lower? Jan, Jan does take her time, um, but I can understand why, because if you go too quickly, you miss it. Like, um, I I noticed a lot of people asking for Dara to redo things and to explain again because she done it too quick. She got she she fantastic Dara. I tell you, she fantastic. And done. I'm like, what? I missed that. I turned away for a second. What? <laughs> Good. Do do it this year. Print, uh, uh, printer, do do it this year. It's brilliant. It, it, it makes you feel good. Definitely. Definitely. So, um, yeah, and I, I, I only started in January doing my video. I only started in January, and every video, or but except for one, um, every video I've done live. Could I think I don't know? I just I can't get my head around the editing of it. I just rather have you know, and then you do all the bloopers. You know what I mean? You do all the bloopers, and you learn from the mistake that I make, and I learn from the mistake that I make as well. So, uh, cause a couple of the cards that I've made, I've made because uh, I, I've made uh, the first time sort of thing. Um, so, but this one, I've, I've made it before. It's really cool. 100 videos, really? 100 videos? How many have I done? Oh, the Friday will be a hundred, won't it? Oh my word! Ah! Um, actually, I, I was going to do a giveaway this Friday anyway. Um, I've already done one giveaway this week, uh, because I did a a, a reveal, um, the Jutter card reveal. Unfortunately, that Jutter card is no longer in stock. They no longer do it. So unless you can get it from H H S N. If they still have it, I don't know. But uh, the the website doesn't have it anymore, um, and England didn't even get it anyway. So um, this could be the only debt in England. Um, wine on Friday, yeah. I like your your way of thinking, Dean. Yeah, that, that I agree. It been it's all real. It's all here. Um, I mean, I, I watched some people crafting on, on YouTube and they've pre-done it, so they've cut a lot of it out. And obviously that stuff that's been cut out, you don't know if they've done something wrong. 
to do it. Do you know what I mean? So um, the people that edit it, I mean, they, they are good. They're good at what they do because they've got thousands of people um, following them. So they must be doing something right. So, um, that you know, some people are comfortable doing it, some aren't. I mean, I'm comfortable doing it because obviously I've, I've, I used to have a radio show when I lived in Brighton. So I'm used to talking to people live. So, yeah. Um, oh, champagne. Or, or, or Prodecco. I like my Prodecco, D. I love my Prodecco. Um, so, yeah. Blade. What blade? Sorry, I just seen that thread. What blade? Oh, that blade, my trimmer blade. Yeah. Well, I was thinking about getting uh if I make a mistake, I'll just leave a note in the video. Oh yeah. I I haven't learned how to do that because obviously live I'm using Dreamyard, so it's all live. Um, and I I don't know if I can actually edit my live. I'll have to find out. Yeah, my paper cutter. Um, as I was going to say, I'm thinking about getting the large, um, crafted companion paper cutter. It, uh, like my scissors, these scissors, these are my Jeff scissors from when I was a Jeff. These are brilliant scissors. Do you know why? Because they're self sharpening. Anything self sharpening I love. And I've had these scissors for five or six years, five years maybe. Um, and I haven't needed to sharpen them yet. I've used them on fabric, I've used them on paper, everything. They are self sharpening. Because they're so close together, you can hear they brush past each other, but they brush past each other like smooth. So that yeah, um, and and that's the reason why I want to get the crafted companion one is because it's self sharpening. Um, anything self sharpening like that, I will get straight away. Um, yes, it is time to go. It is four o'clock, eight eight a.m over where D is, so, um, yes, I will go, I've got my emery board now, I've got it, I found it, um, so, um, yes, um, thank you for joining me, people, um, please share, like, subscribe, comment, uh, rewatch the video, especially you like, it doesn't take much to like a video, one second, that's it, bosh. Uh, thank you for joining me, um, and I shall speak to you soon. Bye-bye.